Hey guys, I'm Akshay from Bebomb.com, and last year we were in Hawaii to attend Qualcomm's Tech Summit, and we got a hands-on with the Snapdragon 865. This year, unfortunately, the event is virtual, but the Snapdragon 888 is here, and I am pretty excited about it. I mean, there's the new architecture, improvements in camera, and some massive new gaming upgrades. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's take a look at the Snapdragon 888 and everything new here. So first off, why is it called the Snapdragon 888 and not the Snapdragon 875? Well, this is the reason Qualcomm game. So yeah, triple luck, wealth and abundance it is. Anyway, let's talk about the basic stuff first. The new Snapdragon 888 is a 5 nanometer chipset and comes with the Cryo 680 cores that are clocked up to 2.84 GHz. Now that's the same as the Snapdragon 865's clock speeds, but these new cores are built on the Cortex-X1 architecture. But what does that mean? Well, according to Qualcomm, the new processor is 25% better for performance and 25% more power efficient as compared to the Snapdragon 865. Take a look at this leaked benchmark of the Snapdragon 888. Now compare that with the Snapdragon 865. Yeah, that's a pretty impressive performance upgrade, right? There's also the new architecture here. Instead of all Cortex-A series cores, the Snapdragon 888 it has four high-efficiency Cortex-A55 cores at 1.8 GHz, three high-performance Cortex-A78 cores at 2.4 GHz, and one extreme-performance Cortex-X1 core at 2.84 GHz. That's important because the Cortex-X1 is a core designed purely for performance and not to strike a balance between performance and power. So yeah, I'm excited about the Cortex-X1, but what I'm actually excited about are the new camera and gaming improvements that the Snapdragon 888 is promising. Seriously, these are some impressive new upgrades. Let's take a look. First off, there's the new Spectra 580 for imaging, and this is the first time Qualcomm has a triple ISP. That means Snapdragon 888 can let smartphones shoot 4K HDR videos from three cameras at the same time. This is impressive, right? It will also let your phone smoothly switch between lenses when you zoom in and out while shooting video. It also means you can capture photos from three different sensors at the same time. The new ISP also supports 10-bit color depth for photos which means your pictures can have a billion colors in them for even higher quality pictures and Qualcomm has a new low light architecture as well that can apparently capture photos in as low as 0.1 lux lighting. Now that's something I really want to test out as soon as I can. Also if you're like me and you like taking pictures of your dog a lot, the Snapdragon 888 can take burst photos in 120 fps which means you will definitely get really sharp images even when your doggo is running around. Specs wise, the new ISP can support up to 200 megapixel photos, slow mo at 960fps, Dolby Vision video recording, multi frame noise reduction, and a lot, lot more. Obviously, a lot of this depends on what features OEM use in their phones, but we do know that Samsung and Xiaomi focus a lot on camera features in their flagships, so I'm hoping we'll get to see these features in action on the Mi 11 and the Galaxy S21 next year. For gamers too, the Snapdragon 888 seems to be bringing some mighty impressive features. Why features like HDR gaming, 144fps support and updatable GPU drivers have been around for a while, Snapdragon 888 will support variable rate shading as well. Yeah, this is insane because it's a feature that's so far only available on PC games and consoles. But with the Snapdragon 888, it will make its way to smartphone games as well. And Qualcomm claims this will improve rendering speeds by up to 30%. So games should be able to run at even higher frame rates for longer, which is a win-win for us, right? There's also the new Qualcomm Quick Touch feature, which will prove really helpful in competitive FPS games. With Quick Touch, you will experience 20% faster touch response on smartphone games. If you play PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty, you know these things can make a lot of difference in those tense moments. There's also anti-howl by the way, which basically ensures that there's no audio feedback when you're playing multiplayer games in close proximity with the mic on. This is something people who play team multiplayer games like Call of Duty Mobile will really appreciate. Here's a demo from Call Call. Alright, I'm, I'm out of ammo. Do you have ammo? Yeah, I do. I'm low on I have a rifle. Alright. Where are you? Okay. Dude, where are you? Where are Let's you? Let's go to the other house. Let's go to the where other house. You? The blue house. The blue 
Of course, all of this is powered by the new Adreno 660 GPU, which offers 35% faster rendering speeds and 20% higher power efficiency as compared to the Adreno 650 that was present in the Snapdragon 865. So where can you experience these features? Well, as far as my guess is concerned, I'm thinking the ROG phone and all the other gaming phones in 2021 should make use of these gaming features. But yeah, we will have to wait a while before we can actually see these in action. While the camera and gaming improvements really took the cake for me, there are improvements in some other areas as well. For one, the new Hexagon 780 AI engine brings AI to gaming, cameras, voice assistants and more. With AI and cameras, you get some exciting features including better autofocus, auto white balance and auto exposure. Qualcomm is actually saying that ArcSoft will use these features and will make your smartphone camera focus, track and zoom in and out automatically when you're recording videos. That's quite cool. There are also improvements in terms of security. The Snapdragon 888 comes with a new hypervisor that brings isolated operating systems for each app. So you can have work profiles, personal profiles and even others, plus you can switch between them instantly and they will all remain completely separate from each other which is great for security and privacy. Lastly, there's obviously 5G support here as well. The Snapdragon 888 is using a new Qualcomm X60 modem with support for 5G millimeter wave and sub 6 GHz networks and download speeds up to 7.5 Gbps. Along with that, the processor also comes with the Fast Connect 6900 platform with Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6E. There's nothing really new here though, the Snapdragon 865 Plus also had the Fast Connect 6900 platform with Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. So yeah, those were the most impressive new features in the newly announced Snapdragon 888. Like I said before, there are some truly impressive camera and gaming improvements here and I'm really hyped to check them out. The Mi 11 is going to be one of the first phones with Snapdragon 888 processor and I can't wait to check it out. But what do you think? Are you excited about phones with the Snapdragon 888? Let us know in the comments. Also give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.